Hey guys, so I know I already did a homemade jaw jacker video. Um, I had a friend of mine, he's an older gentleman, he's got a problem with his hands where they will shake once in a while. So I let him borrow mine and he said he had difficulty with the key loop and that it wouldn't work for his ice fishing rod. Because if you get a store bought ice fishing rod, the top part here is smooth. Well, I have a custom made one, so it's got a custom tip where it has a little lip on the top. So it's able to catch the eye loop. So that was another downfall. So he said if I could make one that will work for a store bought ice fishing rod, that'd be better. He also, you know, asked if I could make the back piece, the PVC pipe, more sturdier. So instead of just the one screw, I added also a bracket. So this way, so you can't pull it backwards or it doesn't move left to right at all. It's locked in place very well. He wasn't a big fan of the collapsible antenna either, so I just made this one. Messed up. Flag moves with the wind. Um, so what I did was, I just used, instead of the key loop setup, I used an uh, eye, just a threaded eye loop, and I took a piece of metal and I bent it around, this so way it loops onto that, put some tape on it for grip, and I also put a little tape up here towards the tip, so this way when you put it in the eye of the rod, that it wouldn't go in too far, so this way it's still very easy to come out. And it still all folds up all nice and neatly. Alright, so this just will bend out of the way if you need it to. Um, so, he took it for a use. He used it once. He loved it. He said it worked a lot better. He did a lot of ice. He does ice fishing up in New Hampshire. And they still have ice. We don't have ice right now. Um, but he said the. Maybe do a video showing some measurements of it. So the overall length of it is 25 and a quarter, or 25 inches and a quarter of an inch long. And each individual piece is 12 and a half, about, um, and the piece of PVC pipe that I use is only about six inches long um, and then this is just a piece of uh, one by two so it's like one inch tall one and two inches wide um, and I just made I make them a little bit longer this is so I could bolt this on to the top of it or onto the side of it so this is also about five and a half inches um, now I mean, you could paint this if you wanted to make it last a little bit longer I probably will in the future. Um, and this also, you yeah, guys, regular two inch door hinge, nothing, nothing fancy. Uh, I'll just give you a quick little demonstration on how this one works. This little flexibly bend the tip down. That goes right into the tip, just like that. And then you got your string over here, fish along, long, comes right out nice and easy. Um, here I'll set it up with the flag so you can see it work with the flag. So, you know, you just nice and easy, you put your flag on. Not crazy like. And you, your flag pops up, the fish is on, and you know. So if you guys have any ideas of something else you might want me to add to it, I definitely will. Or uh, something different you guys want to see me do to it. I mean, maybe make the groove a little bit bigger around the edges. I mean, anything. You guys want me to try to mess around with this? Because like I said, I'm trying to get it so that, you know, you guys don't have to break the bank, you know, on these plastic jaw jackers. They break. You know, you put it in the trunk of your car. Something happens to it. This right here, I mean... You can get a, a 10 foot long, two inch PVC pipe for four bucks. 
and you only use six inches of it, you can make a, a bunch of these out of this. And this metal clamp, that's 57 cents. Box of screws, I mean, what is that, $4, $3 in some places, even cheaper. Uh, you probably have some laying around your house that you don't even use anymore. Um, these springs, I just found them in random places laying around in junk jars. I believe these actually came off of a air compressor hose that was bad. And then, like I said, the hinge, so. Well, let me know, guys, and uh, thank you for subscribing. Comment, like, and I'll uh, make more videos of other stuff that I can hopefully make and move around with. Or if you guys have an idea, shoot me the idea. Alright, good luck fishing, guys.